back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be talking about K dramas. I know you're probably shocked. She likes K dramas. She watches K drama. She's a K drama addict. Yes, I'm a K drama addict. It all started when I got into K pop with EXO. I watched uh, my first drama was EXO Next Door, and um, because EXO was my first group I got into K pop with, <clears throat> so I watched that first K drama, and then came. Doctor Stranger was it? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it was so good. I just got addicted after that, and I can't, I can't stop, guys. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. It's okay though, because you know, no regrets. So first things first. These are ten things that only K drama addicts understand, or no, whichever, whatever. Let's get started. Number one, only K drama addicts know these words. Omo, aish, chincha, debak, opa. Aigo. 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 Viene. Kamsamita. Annyong. Yoboseyo. Chonmal. Ajuma. Oma. Apoji. Jebal. Sarange. Oh. Otoke. Pali pali. Ya. Amagule. Chua. Chua. Pichoso. Chakaman. I know, I know a lot of words thanks to K-Drama. I'm like fluent now. Number two, you know what a second lead syndrome is? <sighs> you know what it is and you're frustrated because you know that it's not gonna go anywhere other than the friend zone. And sometimes they're even sweeter than the first male lead and you're just like frustrated because the second male lead is sometimes even cuter. So you're just like frustrated with yourself and you're like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> He's so sweet. Yeah, that's the struggle only. Only K drama addicts understand. Number three, you know that America is the place that everybody escapes to. Like, everybody goes there, like, oh, you know what? I need a break. Let me go fly off to America. Oh, you know what? I think I can't contain that we are broken up. So I'm gonna go to America. Like, everybody goes to America. Like, America is a place everybody escapes to for some reason. Number four, illegal U turns. There's so many illegal U turns in K dramas. Like, there's not. A, it's not a K drama without an illegal U turn. Like, it's not. It's it's really not. Number five, when it comes to fight scenes, for some reason, there's like that one person, and then against like a whole bunch of other people, and then like everybody takes turns fighting that one guy, even though it's like a group versus one. For some reason, they like to take turns. Yeah, you go first. Okay, you gotta beat up. Let me go next. Y'all a group. Y'all know that. Y'all can just jump him at once. Like I don't know. K drama logic. I don't know. Number six, your romance standards are way too high now. You see a guy, like when you see a guy, you expect him to like tie your shoes or to like hold your hands or like when you're drinking coffee for him to like. Wipe it off with his lips. I don't know. When you get like a paper cut, you want him to be like, Oh my god, I need to get treatment. I need to make, get medicine because I don't want it to scar your beautiful skin. Yeah. That's that's what I, I want a guy like that. Yep. Number seven. You binge watch K-dramas because you want to kill time or because the teasers or the, what's it called? The sneak peeks video, you know, the clip at the end to sneak peek the next episode. It's like, it gets you so fascinated, so you just finger just automatically clicks that next button. You know you're like 6 o'clock in the morning and everybody's waking up and you're like, I didn't even sleep. <laughs> yeah. Am I the only one? I hope not. Number eight, you want Korean food so bad. I never wanted Korean food in my entire life until I got to know K-dramas and now like I want Korean barbecue, I want some jang jang myeon jang jang whatever you want to pronounce it. You want you want you want it. You want kimchi, you want it all. You want it all. Korean food, man. 9 lots of soju. Lots and lots of soju. There's no K-drama that someone's not getting drunk in like almost every K-drama or like all K-dramas. I'm pretty sure there's all K-dramas that someone's getting drunk by soju. I wanna try soju. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Just kidding, don't drink. Finally, number 10. You try to get people around you, your friends, your family to watch K-dramas, but no one understands you the way, you know, K-drama addicts understand you. They're like, I don't wanna read subtitles for an entire episode. What are they saying? I don't understand. Ugh. 
This is so like anime. Ugh. It's like no, it's not. It's so good. Like what? What is your problem? K dramas, man. K drama addicts only understand what you understand and only love what you love because they know they know I'm here for you. I understand. If you guys want to talk about K drama, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite K drama or what recommendations you have for me. Even though I probably I'm pretty sure I've watched it all. Yeah. Have you guys seen Descendants of the Sun? I'm just saying it's really good. I'm just saying. Oni's acting. Hopefully. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you're a K-drama addict, I can't. I can speak English. I promise. If you're a K-drama addict, please give it a like and share with your friends. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.